Hey, I'm Captain Camp, and I've just decided I will stealth camp somewhere around here. Brussels, the capital of Belgium. Well, it is uh, very busy in uh, Brussels, but I trust my stealth camping skills. I will have to find the perfect spot though. A lot of uh, homeless people, and which I respect them, but I don't necessarily trust the situation. And uh, I hope, <laughs> and I hope not all the good spots are taken already. So my original plan was to just take a local bus or train to just outside the city and then camp there and then tomorrow morning return for the big protest. But because of all the delay, I thought this would be the better option. Well, it's, it's fine. It's fine. The only thing is my hands are a bit cold, but I do have a great solution for that. So this is a trick that I learned from one of the other captains. Uh, it doesn't have a name, but let's call it a fire in 10 seconds. Well, there you have it. Just one of those one dollar bricks. It's just kind of a meme, you know? You buy something and you put it on fire. It's time to start cooking. Uh, I thought maybe I could cook on this, but it's not really suitable. <laughs> Luckily, I have something else. I got the Wind Master with me. Soon I will set up my sleep system. It is getting more and more quiet. And I am impressed by the performance of this brick. And actually I did find a soft place to sleep, uh, which are these wood chips. They are relatively new and clean and it's pretty soft, so I will sleep here.
<laughs> this is comfort. <laughs> yeah, so far it's going really great. Uh, that's it for today. I will keep you updated tomorrow morning uh, about how the night was. We will see. Okay, it's 7 o'clock in the morning and something just happened. Uh, a man walked by very uh, close, so I noticed him and I get up. And uh, he asked something, he said something in French, but he also spoke English. So he asked, do you want a coffee? And I said, no, I'm fine. Uh, and he said, do you smoke? Do you want cigarettes? I said, no, no, thank you. No, I'm fine. So, uh, well, very nice guy. And then 10 minutes later, he comes back and he still gives me a tea and two breads. So that's very nice, of course. So, uh, and he asked me where I'm from. I said, sir, I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, and he said, ah, me too. So he was born in the Netherlands, but he forgot the language. And that's something I have noticed here. So on all signs, it's Dutch, but nobody speaks it. Everybody speaks French. Uh, and then the second language, if you ask, do you speak English? They speak very well uh, English, better than me. <laughs> Here's a tea. Really good one with the, the leaves. Oh, it's very sweet. <laughs> I thought I lost my taste. It got my taste back. I think it's partly the culture, how people, the people are used to the homeless. I'm just a city nomad. Almost at the station. I was just given a ride by a very nice guy. Uh, talked about uh, a lot of things, fully awake. Uh, and he gave me this present, so uh, thank you, Hisham.